Okay, so we're going to be merging the Lunastra and the Teostra sets. We're going to be merging Lunastra female with Teostra male. First, we're going to be importing our base files in separate Blender instances. This is going to be the Lunastra female one. Uh, this part is not strictly necessary, but it makes things look nicer. Uh, same here, we're going to be importing the, the Teostra one here. Uh, first thing we're going to be want to be doing is importing the CDC as well for both of them. Yeah. And as usual, whenever we import a CDC, the first thing we're going to be want to be doing is rearranging chain with target. Same here, rearranging chain with target. So the core of what we're be going to be doing for the merge is using the, the anonymization. Uh, anonymizing is the term for removing the ID of physics bones. By anonymizing, on top of that we're going to be adding a label here, tail. Uh, what we are doing is we are making sure that when, this, when the bo relevant bones go over, they are not colliding with IDs that exist within the Lunastro armor. Uh, we could not anonymize this and merge, but it's going to be way easier on, on everything if we actually anonymize. We're going to be using CDC anonymous function Luna for, for the Luna armor. Now comes the somewhat delicate part where we have multiple choices. We could, for example, use the mod free toolbox to rename bones and we could add the, a, a tail prefix and then we throw all of this into the other instance of Blender and then we start cleaning once we are there. There are reasons to do this, but it, normally it's much more work because you have the mesh plus all of these bones overlap with the Luna bones. So to simplify our work, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing everything in the skeleton, which we don't need. Like, for example, uh, we don't need none of this. <laughs> um, we don't need this mesh, we are only interested in this part of the skeleton. And obviously what we can do for example is we can we can select the hierarchy and we can tell which ones are the physics bones. Now the important part is to what are they connected to because we want to keep the, the connected bones are normally going to be common. In this case, it's it's connect the front is connected to the waist and this is connected to the spine. So, for the most part, in this in this particular case, we can select uh, the the phys the the, bo the the physics bone and we're gonna extend our selection by one. So, for example, in this case, so, um, all of these bones are gonna be telling us. Uh, which of the actual uh, animation driven bones are the ones to which they are tethered. So in this case it's going to be um, bone function 165 for example is the one that corresponds to the chain. Uh, we're going to be locking the mesh here. So we do not, do not actually select. Uh, there is another bone function there, 150. Uh, this is going to be the other one, the other one, the other one, and another one. So this already more or less tells us uh, we, we, we want everything after this, but we only care about the, 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 the bone that they are actually tied. So we, we can do control plus to extend the selection by one. And with that, we're going to have all of the only the bones which we care about in terms of the physics. We're gonna be selecting the end of the chain as well. Um, because all of these bones are, are part of, have physics. Uh, right now our selection is the physics bone uh, plus their, plus one of their parents. And 
after that, let's see. Oh boy. So I think we're missing one of the burns. Uh, we're gonna be deselecting this one and then we're gonna expand the selection by one. And okay, I guess that one. So after that, we're gonna be inverting the selection and we're gonna avoid having our physics bone in the selection. So everything that is left is basically bones which do not have physics and are, and are not the the anchor points for a bone that does have physics so basically it's going to be bone function 2 5 14 165 has oh, oh bone 5 is burned okay so with this more or less we have only the the bones that we need the 1005 is 005 and 2 are the ones that are not physics bones. So we're going to want to fix the parenting when, when we're on the other side. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be renaming the bones to, to prepend TO to them, uh, where we do not randomize IDs. So now the only bones we have is. Uh, they are not gonna be replacing names, and it, it's gonna it's gonna help us organize once we start moving all things over. So we, this is basically just preparation. We've we've basically just this is what we want. This is physics. We're only bringing the things that have physics with us. Otherwise, we still have to merge by bone function things which are in, in common. So we're gonna be uh, bringing everything over, and for that we're gonna be using the a command. Otherwise. Because this is a hierarchy, it, it will not select everything and it's going to be a pain to, to do everything. Also, for the CTC header, we want to do Control shift and select so that it's recursive. And the reason we want to make it selectable is because the frames are, are not selectable by default. Uh, that is just part of how they import and it's something we have to do when we are merging. So, we're going to be going into the Lunastra armor now. Uh, this is a good point to save because... Uh, you, you want to save here and you want to save here because uh, going backwards might actually just crash Blender sometimes because of the amount of objects we're going to be working with and also because some of the things here are not quite stable. So thankfully we don't, it doesn't look like we have to do much finagling. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is going to be finding the corresponding Teo bone, Luna bones for the Teo bones. Uh, in this case, for example, bone function 2, uh, we'll notice that is uh, a fixed bone function. It is not a, it, it has not been anonymized. It is, yeah, bone function 2. If you compare it to a, to a bone, yeah, to the anonymous functions, anonymous functions just, it, it, they are, it, it out like anonymous function for, for a TO bone. Um, so this one does have a bone function, it's number 2. And if we look at the Lunastra bones, we're going to eventually find, yeah, bone function too. So what we're going to do is all of this who have a, a, a TO bone as a parent. Which one is 23? Oh boy. Um, why wasn't this one renamed? Anyway. Um, oh, he came along as a... As a as a symmetric pair of, of 05. It doesn't actually have a physics chain on it. Doesn't have? Yeah, it doesn't have. Came along. We can we can kill it. Um, tier bone function 2. We can just all of his children. We select them. And then we're going to be parenting them to bone function 2 outright. So control P. Set parent object. Keep transform. And now we have the, the TO bones have been adopted, so to speak. So now we're going to be doing the same for every every bone that is not anonymous. For example, 154 is anonymous, so, so we can ignore it because all of its children are also going to be anonymous. 157 is anonymous, 16 is anonymous. Uh, 05 is not anonymous. And 70 is not anonymous. And yeah, so we're going to see if it's a 70. If we, if we find a 70 then we can skip a step, yeah, we, there's a 70. So what we do is we are going to be uh, grabbing this 
these three bones are we gonna, and, and we're gonna be parenting them to bone function 70 and yeah we're keeping the transform so 05 and 07 are no longer necessary, 02 is also no longer necessary, we can just kill them. Uh, these meshes are going to have the, the situation where there's like uh, bone function 07, uh, bone function, yeah, the, the ones that we've deleted might have reverted, that's good, anyway. Uh, yeah, this is things that we have to do on the cleanup. Anyway, so now that we've got the bone functions on their own, like, TC header, it's gonna be, uh, so the header here, this one's, uh, we're gonna have to merge those CTC headers. And while we can just transpose the chains, this is gonna be the issue, which is that this chain has global properties. And these properties are not gonna match the ones on the other chain. You're going to be noticing, for example, that the, the wind maximums are different and whatnot. So you you will likely want to be renaming these chains so that you still have some amount, so that you can remember where they came from. Because the moment that you, we're going to be killing this header. Like we have to get rid of this header. There can only be one CDC header. And we're going to be doing the same. Reparenting and then, but this this one we're gonna we're gonna wanna kill it but we want to remember one option is that we we can remove the type like if we remove the type uh this is no longer a cdc header the, the exporter will not see it and we want to be careful because the difference in values is, is going to inform the the way that this operate after you're done with this you're gonna have to be tweaking these values for the for the thing that you've grafted because those differences in, in chain heads are going to be giving them different inheritance of physics. There's no way around it. You just have to start working with the ones that you've transplanted after you've gotten this, gotten this into the game. We're still not there. Um, we're nearly there, though. What we're going to be doing now is, after we've, we've merged things, we're going to be de-anonymizing the CDC functions. And the starting ID is normally going to be something like 150. Uh, you can start with 120 or something, but I, I feel comfortable with 150 normally, if there's not that many uh, uh, CDC bones. And after this, we're going to go into the mod free tools and we're going to rename bones to their to their ID. Yeah. So now we're going to see what's missing. <laughs> Uh, if anything says TO bone function, then it means that it is... Thankfully, the bones that are missing bone functions, like 70, which we already know that we replaced on this mesh. And this mesh is also, yeah, 70 again. And 02 again. Yeah. So that should be it. Uh, we have merged the skeletons with anonymized and uh, for merging and the anonymized after merging and this should have the combined physics it is gonna work in game but it's not gonna it's gonna require tweaking the values here because this chains had a different controller and now they are on the lunastra controller so we're gonna have to be adapting those values like the wind multiplier uh you can try to derive some relationship between like the comparing for example the cc header here and the cc header here the the wind values here is 1.0 while the wind values here are like scaled uh, and you can also just use this one as a base instead of the other one and move all of this to the other one but it, it's a matter of preference and at the end of the day you, you it's better to be having to like were with six chains and, and specifying how you want them and, and debugging them than working with the 12 chains that we have here. So that should be about it. Uh, at the end of the day, like the, the core of the work is going on with the with the anonymize when you're merging and the uh, de-anonymize. The rest is, is 3D modeling common sense, how you're parenting things and how the chains are coming over. That should be about it. At this point, you can already go into export CDC, and afterwards, you can also export the, the mod free. And if the materials have not cooked themselves, you can just like look at the result. 
In theory, this should have like the, the combination of the cape physics with the existing uh, physics that come from the front of the nest farmer.